for the sitter? It's right here on the table. Is this her first sitting job? First time for us. She's quite experienced. She sat to the Anderson several times. You know how particular Nancy Anderson is. Seems to cover almost everything. Better get the kids together. Sitter will be here soon. Good idea. She's early. Oh, no, I asked her to come a little early so we'd have some time to show around the house. And make sure she knows where everything is and show her what to do in case of an emergency. Mm. Also, I'd give the kids a little chance to get used to her. Mm. Mr. Turner. Hi. Mr. Turner, nice Hi, to meet you. How are you? My pleasure. You. My name is Dave. This is my wife, Julie. Every day, thousands of parents voluntarily relinquish the care of their children into the hands of a babysitter. Whether for an hour or a day, whether the babysitter is a close relative or friend, a regular, or as in this case, a stranger, the parents and sitter must establish a partnership that has as its sole purpose the safety and welfare of the children. Yeah. This is Sarah, and this is Andrew. The bashful one over there is Mark. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Does your teddy bear have a name? Teddy. <laughs> well, that'll be easy to remember. Now yeah. you can't loosen up while we go over these safety rules with Stephanie. Here's a kitchen phone, and there's one upstairs in the master bedroom. All the telephones in your home should have either on them or next to them emergency numbers, including 911 if it is in service in your area. Also, your home address and nearest cross street should be prominent in case the sitter has to call for help. Other numbers that should be convenient for the babysitter are those of the nearest neighbors and, of course, the number of where you will be spending the evening. What's that? Oh, it's a reminder list I picked up at a babysitting class. It just helps me remember all the important things when I'm sitting. Ma'am? Sure. Very impressive. We can learn something from this, too. Well, I like to think of my job as sort of a partnership with the parents. Here, I'll keep this list you gave me where I'll always have it with me. And do you happen to have a home escape plan? You know, in case there's a fire or something. You sure do, and we all practice it. And they're right here in this drawer, and we also have them posted in each bedroom. Honey, we better get going. I'll show Stephanie around the rest of the house when you get your things. All right. I'll show you where the light switch is on the patio. Besides acquainting the babysitter with the general layout of the house, you should point out smoke detectors and burglar alarms and let her hear them so that she knows what they sound like and won't be surprised if they should activate. Yeah. Okay, let me show you what we got in the kitchen. If the house has residential sprinklers, point them out. Show her exits and windows that could be used in case of fire. We like to keep the side yard light on at night. Okay, come on you guys. We need to be on our best behavior for Stephanie, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah? Okay, you make sure they do, okay? Mr. Turner, do you mind if I put these matches up somewhere higher? Oh, yeah. I guess I forgot to put them away last night, so thanks. I think of all the things that might go wrong when I'm sitting, fire really scares me the most. So I look out for fire problems. 
I'm glad to hear that. Okay, yeah. What do you say we take Stephanie upstairs and show her your bedroom, okay. huh? Yeah. And then Julie can tell you more about Mark's medicine. Okay. We'll be home before midnight. Yeah, you kids behave. Remember, Stephanie has permission to put you to bed early if you act up. I'm sure it'll be just fine. <laughs> you have a wonderful evening, and don't worry about a thing. Thanks. Bye. 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 Go to bed early. Bye. 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 How about a game? No matter how cautious and safety-minded both parents and babysitters are, something entirely outside their control can still go wrong. It's just an hour before you guys go to bed, okay? okay. Some homes have overloaded circuits faulty wiring, or frayed cords that can be the cause of unforeseen trouble. Other hazards include appliances that are misused, such as posters, microwave ovens, and hair dryers, or appliances that have become defective. Okay, you two, it's time for bed. Uh, come on. Sarah, would you like to come on now? Okay. As a general rule, never leave children alone. Keep them always in sight until they are safely tucked in bed. This can prevent many accidents. And more importantly, if there is an emergency, you won't have to waste precious time searching for missing children. both asleep. Time for you to go to bed, too. Oh, can't we just finish this puzzle, please? Sorry, it's nine o'clock. Oh. Besides that, I've got a lot of homework to do. Fire at 931 
Kimball Avenue. Yes, the nearest cross street is violent. Thank you. more help. As soon as I heard the smoke alarm go off, all I could think of was getting the kids out of the house. Mm, you did the right thing. The fire was pretty well contained to the one wall, but there was more than enough smoke in the house to be a danger to anyone who stayed inside too long. You made a wise choice by not trying to use the stairs. You did a good job. You should be proud of yourself. Thanks. Gotta get back, folks. Thanks. Well, young lady, you're quite a hero this evening. Dave and Julie can be proud they had you for a babysitter. I just did what I was taught to do. And the trainers planned ahead with a good home escape plan that the kids knew. You mean there's special classes just for babysitters? Oh, yeah. About a year ago, I took some evening classes for sitters. Actually, the classes were for both sitters and parents. And not just for us junior high school kids, either. One lady, Mrs. Reed, sat mostly for her grandchildren. She said she was taking the classes because she needed to update her child care skills. A police officer spoke to us on home security. A nurse covered first aid. And one entire evening was spent on fire safety. As we all know, preventing fires is a lot better than having to put them out. Now that means maintaining a fire safe environment in the house and around the yard. And that is the responsibility of both parents and sitters. For example, the kitchen is full of potential fire hazards. Let's see how many we can think of this evening. I know, hot oil, especially when making popcorn, can be dangerous. Could splatter and burn you or the kids. Anytime you're cooking with grease, you have to consider splattering and also the danger of grease fires. That's right. So remember the phrase, Put a lid on a grease fire. Also, turn the burner off, but never try to move the pan. And always follow the rule that whenever you're cooking anything, be sure to keep the pot handles turned inward so that children can't grab them and pull them over onto themselves. I learned the hard way about microwave ovens. I heated a jelly donut and found out that it was just right on the outside, but the jelly inside burned my mouth. You must also be very careful if baby bottles are heated in the microwave oven. Be aware of the scald burn risk and the risk that the bottle's liner may burst. And remember, if you or the children should get burned, the rule is always to cool the burn immediately with cool water. Don't forget that some household cleaners are poisonous or caustic and that aerosols such as cooking sprays can be flammable. And some kitchens have matches around the stove but not only around the kitchen stove, but in many other rooms as well. People also leave cigarette lighters lying about and lit candles burning. The idea is to keep all dangerous objects out of the reach of children. The best prevention is to keep young children out of the kitchen altogether. If possible, put them in playpens or blocked off rooms where you can still watch them. Maybe you can do your kitchen chores while they're taking their nap. Well, twice a week. I have a sitter in all day to look after my two little ones. And she gives them baths, and I make sure she understands the dangers of using hot water. 
even though I've lowered the temperature on the hot water heater to below 135 degrees Fahrenheit, I make sure that she always tests the water before she puts the kids in. And she must never, never leave the children alone in the bathtub, not to answer the door or the phone or for any reason. If she must leave the bathroom, then she takes the children with her. Well, I guess that pretty well covers hot water safety. Let's review some of what we've covered tonight. If you do have a fire, follow these steps. If your clothes catch on fire, stop, drop, and roll to smother the flames wherever you are. If your smoke detector is activated, follow your home escape plan. Feel doors and doorknobs before you open them. Check for smoke from under the doors. Stay low to the floor if there is smoke. Consider windows as exits. Meet at the predetermined meeting post. Once out of the house, stay out. Don't go back for anything. Call the fire department from a neighbor's house. Know the correct address and cross street. If possible, have someone at the curb to direct the fire department in. But most importantly, stay calm and don't panic. Remember, babysitting is a very serious job, and if you follow what we've gone over in class tonight, you should be well prepared for any emergency. And that class really covered the subject of fire safety. After tonight, I'm sure glad it did. she was prepared. This babysitter checklist served as a valuable reminder of these important points. Know the emergency telephone numbers. Know the correct address and cross street. Write down the telephone number of where the parents will be and the phone number of the nearest neighbor or relative. Be aware of smoke detectors and any security system. Check the home escape plan. Note any medical problems or health-related matters, as well as bedtimes and bedtime rituals. And, of course, note any other special instructions. But most importantly, remember to stay calm in any emergency.